Hi everybody and welcome back to part two of our wild garlic seed cake recipe. We are back in the barn checking on our garlic seeds which we sorted around three and a half weeks ago. If you're just joining us now you're a bit too late and you'll have to wait until next year unfortunately but if you've been following along we are now going to pickle these and move on to the next step. We're going to begin by giving our wild garlic seeds a quick wash under some cold running water just to remove any of the excess salt crystals so our pickles don't become too salty later on down the line. So we're just going to empty the contents of our jar into a colander and then we're going to give this a good rinse under a cold tap. Just making sure to get all of the capers and don't leave any behind. It took us so long to kind of pick them all from the stalks. Once you've given your wild garlic seeds a good wash and removed as much of the salt as you can, you probably won't get it all. There's going to be a few crystals left in and around them. We're just going to throw them onto a clean tray lined with a tea towel just to absorb any moisture that's going to come out of them before we move on to jarring and pickling. The next step is really simple. We're going to be taking some sterilised glass jars and filling them up to just below the neck with the wild garlic seeds and we're going to top that up with some vinegar and that's just going to be plain kind of cider vinegar, malt vinegar um, or you can use flavoured vinegars if you've got them. We've got some elderflower vinegar which we made last year with the elderflowers from Hedro and the same again with some red wine vinegar but we steep these with cherry plums, um, red cherry plums. So our wild garlic seeds are all topped up with vinegar. We screwed the lids on super tight, um, giving them a nice little label. And we just need to let them sit now for around a month before we open them to eat them. And we can use them to garnish anything from wild game dishes to fish dishes, um, or just throw them on top of pizzas or some cheese and toast for a little bit of something different. Um, I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.